My dear boy, if you were to become Tolstoy's private secretary, you would be given a great gift. You? You're the new secretary? Yes. Papa is upstairs in the library. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Pardon me. I sneeze, I get nervous. <laughs> the world's greatest living writer. Well, you all think he's Christ, don't you? I do believe he's one of the prophets. This is unbearable. I'm surrounded by morons. Ah. Is planning his legacy. Your works are the birthright of the Russian people. I cannot stand by while they steal my children's inheritance. I need to know anything the Countess says. She's very, very dangerous. Valentin Fedorovich, you've been keeping something from me. <laughs> I believe that there's one truth. Love. It's not something they'd understand, these so-called disciples of my husband's. I love a romance. You must see by now how committed she is to undermining her husband's best intentions. Why do you betray me like this? You'd rather be seduced by charlatans, all in the name of love. You can't even love me. If I can't work and find some peace, then I shall go away. Go! They have a whole life together. Why do you have to deny that? You've become a victim of her romantic nonsense. I don't know who I am anymore. He wants to see her. Let her go. What are you afraid of? You. I'm afraid of you. I've never stopped loving you, but God knows you don't make it easy. Why should it be easy? I am the work of your life, you are the work of mine. That's what love is. Everything that we have worked for will be gone. You want to create an icon. It's going to look more like you than him.